What's up, guys? We're here, and in today, we're going to go over my starter build that I use for this league, Affliction, Lightning Arrow. Let's get into it. If you want a build that is going to absolutely crush all of the content in the game, speed farm, completely dominate all of your maps, even do the Abyss farming strategy for endless amounts of currency, then Lightning Arrow is for you. Also, if you're a brand new beginner player and you're just now leveling trying to get through the campaign, I highly suggest Lightning Arrow if you are playing Ranger or if this is just your first time playing. This is definitely geared towards newer players and just players who want to get through everything really, really fast. This build is for absolute blasters who want to move incredibly fast, deal loads of damage, and just knock out all the content in the game. However, I do want to mention a few things about the build. It is going to struggle towards the end of doing certain, certain uber bosses or other end game content only because it just doesn't have the damage output of Tornado Shot. However, if you min-max this build, you can really just dominate everything in the game. So guys, we have Lightning Arrow here and this is, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Havoc. This is a build that is designed from him. And it's just a really, really good, I've tweaked a few things with the build, but I wanna give a big shout out to Havoc because I started with the build from him and we just grinded through. So I wanna just go over a few things and just talk about why this build is just so good and just why it can just speed farm and just annihilate everything. So in the beginning, it's very, very easy to gear. Getting Lightning Arrow, you can get this fairly early. You're gonna be doing, uh, what is it, Galvanic Arrow in the beginning until you unlock Lightning Arrow. I think it's in Act 2, I believe. Um, and getting the rest of these is just super easy. You're going to be doing Mirage Archer spams twice with Sniper's Mark. You got some uh, Grace and Anger for a little bit of auras. You got Frenzy with Mana Forged Arrows. You're going to have two of them. And then on top of Lightning Arrow, you're going to have Storm Rain and Blast Rain, which is just super strong. You got Mana Forged everything, right? You got absolutely everything for Mana Forged, which is just super strong in the build, especially going through the campaign. Um, gearing wise, you can do this with all yellow items. And you could just, you don't really need anything too spectacular until you get towards the end game. If you don't like crafting, then you are gonna struggle a little bit with this build, but it is very, very easy to navigate in gear. You're mainly just looking for max life, all reses, and all damage added onto all of your gear slots. When it comes to your bow and your quiver, you're gonna be looking for increased or elemental damage with crit chance, as well as just having more elemental damage or increased damage with bow. Mainly you want increased attack speed on your quiver. This is highly, highly required for the build. You need to be able to attack super fast. Now, a few more things when it comes to these skills, guys, is you have a different, a few different ways that you can play it. If you guys don't want to do the Storm Rain Mana Forge and then go in and do like Frenzy Mana Forge, you can definitely do the Ballistas. I found this is really much easier especially for a beginner player because all you got to do is literally just hit lightning arrow and you'll cast everything else on the screen everything else gets automatically cast all mana forge arrows as well as your storm rain and blast rain now over here on the pov i do want to talk about a few things when it comes to the skill tree and i think this is really really going to help players and i wish more people did this and i think this is really good for players who as they're leveling so down here on the bottom you guys can see right here next to the left of my camera but you got leveling so you're gonna have leveling one two three four five and when you hit your normal lab and it's gonna basically just take you through the skills that you need to grab as you're leveling to give you the maximum amount of damage survivability and just make the the playthrough and the gameplay of it just very very smooth and easy right it's gonna be super super easy to play this build as you're leveling up now i do want to keep in mind that as you're leveling and you're going through these levels you see how it just adds on you are going to have to respec especially once you start to get towards uh level 10 to level 11 or leveling level 11 and when you unlock your when you're getting into maps or you get done with your merc lab which is the fourth one once you get all these done you're gonna to have to respec the end game variant of this is really, really nice. You're going to have to go to Maven Uber Elder. This is really good and you get towards the end of the build. However, this is going to take you step by step of the way. The pop is going to be down in the description below. It's going to take you step by step of the way as you're leveling and spend your points accordingly to maximize your gameplay and experience for this build. Again, I've had more fun playing Lightning Arrow than any other build, especially at a league starter. 
I'm still a newer player and this is my second league that I'm playing. So this is really, really good. I definitely want to go over and try Toxic Rain because the dot damage this league is insane. So with the new Affliction mods and everything that has been implemented into this league, it is super, super powerful. So again, once you get towards your Uber Elder or Uber Elder 2 variant, this is where you're really going to be around 116 uh, skill points in the game. You're going to complete the story. You're going to be doing your end game maps. You're going to be farming like crazy. So this is really where the build is going to stop and you can continue playing Lightning Arrow, as I said, but then you're going to transition into Tornado Shot. Again, this build is really, really good. The total combined damage is 2.9 million once you have everything completely decked out. And again, all the way through, this isn't going to require any kind of uber uniques. This isn't going to or require any specific gems, nothing like that. You can do this with all rare gear. It's very, very simple. You're going to have your reses. Um, they're not reses aren't going to be the best, but you are going to be able to like nullify those with your um, with your flask here. And you're also going to be able to nullify those with some skill gems in here that just aren't calculated for whatever reason. But the build absolutely saps. It's for straight speed farming, straight clearing, absolutely everything. I do want to mention with this build, though, if you guys are going to play it, that you are very, very squishy. Okay, you are relying 100% on getting maximum evade on here. You want to have 100% maximum evade or is as close to 95% as you can possibly get because you are going to struggle until you really get some gear pieces to max those reses and really just get your spell suppression down. You need to get spell suppression all the way to 100% as well as getting maximum evade. Try to get that as close to 95% as you possibly can. So increased move speed, uh, spell spell uh, suppression and evasion we need as much evasion as possible on all of our gear pieces again once you get to the end you are going to want to craft a really nice bow as well as a really nice quiver and the rest of the gear will come later but yeah guys that is lightning arrow i have really really enjoyed this build So yeah, guys, that is Lightning Arrow. That is my league starter for League Affliction. This league, it's been absolutely fantastic. I just said that three times in a row because that's really good for the algorithm. <laughs> but yeah, Lightning Arrow absolutely slaps. I know we're a few weeks into the league, like three weeks in, but there are so, so many new players coming over. And I really, really wanted to showcase a lot of what i'm doing as a newer player and just take you step by step so you guys can go on that journey with me so thank you guys so much for watching like the video comment down below let me know what do you guys think of lightning arrow what your league starter is and how much you guys have been enjoying path of exile this league don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace